Hello, happy Monday. How is everyone? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Did you ask? Probably not. Anyway, it's a great day. It's a great and wonderful day. Yeah, I used to work with a woman. She would answer the phone. It's a great and wonderful day at the Cobb County Sheriff's Office. And then she would state her name and then say, how may I help you? I don't like long greetings like that because I'm more of a, I guess you could call me a go-getter. You know what I'm saying? I like Cobb County Sheriff's Office, how may I help you? Or Sheriff's Office Warrant Division, how may I help you? You know something, Warrant Division. And I would state my name, of course. But I didn't, most people, I didn't do it because I don't like to be rude. I wanted to be really bad, but I, I can't. It's not in me to be rude to people unless they really, really, really make me mad. And then I find it quite easy. But if you're just getting on my nerves the way you're answering the phone, then I can't be uh, rude. However, a lot of other people could, and they would just start talking before she would finish her spiel, her spiel. Anyway, yeah, it's a great and wonderful day here at the um, Owl Manor. Owl Cottage. Ooh, Owl Cottage. I had a lot of good ones. The Owl Cottage. I kind of like that. It doesn't matter. Let's just move on from that, okay? All right. So, excuse me for digging into my eyeball while I'm trying to make a video. Is that a new wrinkle? I think that's a new wrinkle. Is that a new wrinkle? Oh, I think it's a new wrinkle. That's fine. That's cool. It's, it's, Whatever. I mean, if we can get wrinkles from not sleeping as much as we would like to, then yeah, it's a new wrinkle. Hi, I'm back. Sorry, had to take a little break. Anyway, I was still awake watching videos last night at, I don't know, it was like 11 o'clock and I was like, you have to work tomorrow. I think you need to go to bed. Yeah. So I finally was like, come on, let's go to bed, let's go to bed. And, you know, made them go outside and do all the things so that we could go to bed. And I went to sleep fairly quick, but I woke up at 4.45. That just seems to be my usual these days, which is fine. It's perfectly fine. I love getting up that early, said no one ever. But anyway, I mean, I like getting up at 6 or 6.30, but 4.45, really? I was going to try to lay there in total silence and not move as so as not to wake my little furry creatures. Y'all know that didn't work out for me because, you know, when you wake up, your body is like, hello, are you awake? Hello, guess what? I've been holding it all night. Guess what you need to go do? I don't want to. I don't want to get up. Sorry. Bladder says, gotta go. Mm hmm Okay, fine. I'll go. But then I'm going back to bed, okay? And I'm gonna go back to sleep. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I, I do the thing, and then I go back to bed. Did I get to go back to sleep? No. Mm -mm. Because when Mama's awake, that means Penny's gonna wake up. And when Penny wakes up, she came and laid upon my chest. She, she's as long as from here, here to there. She's long. She's like a weenie dog long. She's long. Anyway, I was like a 20 pound dog laying on my chest. Can't go back to sleep with that. Mm -mm, no. And she wouldn't get off of me. And when I did try to shut my eyes thinking, mm, maybe I can go back to sleep with a 20 pound dog laying on my chest. No. Because then she started doing her little woofs. Woof. Oof. Oof. That's about how loud it comes out. Oof. Which, guess what that means? Her bladder's talking to her, too. And I was like, really? Because I wanted to go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. Didn't get to, no. So I was like, fine, we'll just get up. That's cool. We'll just get up. So I get up and open the back door and go outside with them because it's still dark. Make sure that nothing's out there roaming around because there was things roaming around last night. I'll tell you that. Because while I was sitting on the couch watching, I was actually watching the I'm a Survivor Live 
and all of a sudden I hear an ungodly amount of sirens, as we say in the South, the sirens, sirens. And I also heard the coyotes yipping and yowling. So, because I want to bring y'all all kinds of excitement, I got up and ran outside, barefooted and everything. Again, this time I didn't get hit in the face with a sprinkler though, but I recorded. I mean, you can't see them, but they were close, yeah. So I went out on the driveway and I recorded them. So I'm going to insert those. So if you're scared of coyotes, you can just fast forward through this dark spell because it was at like 10.30 last night. And then you can come back for the rest, okay? Okay, hold on. You hear the coyotes? Wasn't that fun and exciting? Mm, yeah. So once the sirens went on by, they hushed up and I came on back in the house and all is well. And I went out with my babies last night and yeah, they could get Dixie, but uh, Dixie's not my chicken. She lives across the street and apparently uh, she has a roosting place that she can get up high. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I can't ban the coyotes from the neighborhood, and I can't ban the hawks from the neighborhood. So, we just have to hope that Dixie stays safe, because she ain't my chicken. I just love her and feed her, but I haven't seen her in several days. I mean, she's there. I hear her inside the fence, so they must have got a better system of keeping her in. Tommy heard her clucking last night, so clucking around. Mm. Anyway, but she's, she's good. I just haven't seen her. But in other news, my cousin sent me a message last night. Well, she commented under my picture, so then I sent her a message, and anyway, we started talking back and forth, and it reminded me of way back in the way back, I think, I'm not sure if, her name's Anne. I'm not sure if Anne was living up here at the time or if she was just visiting. I can't remember. But she lives in Florida and has lived in Florida probably most of her life. And she moved to Georgia for a brief time to take care of her dad and, and her mom. And then she moved her mom back down to Florida because her mom and dad came up here to take care of my grandmother. So... Anyway, you know, the progression as things go. But anyway, and they all got moved back down to Florida. Well, anyway, while she was up here, she came to the house and her, my mom and I, <laughs> I don't know, I wish I could find the letter, but my mom used to go to like estate sales and yard sales and she would pick up old pictures, old letters, postcards, things like that. So, we found this letter and the way it was written was so eloquent and so formal, right? But it was a young girl sending it to her love, whose name was Clay. So we read that letter and we added, you know, all of our own theatrics to it. But part of the letter like I said, I wish I could find it because it, the whole thing is just hysterical if you read it correctly, right? Correctly. Correctly. Anyway, so part of the letter said, 
Oh, Clay, how I miss you so. How I long to lay with you, Clay. <laughs> how long will it be before we can, before I will see you so we can lay together, Clay? Anyway, it was hilarious. Hilarious. So then, same night, I wish I could find some of this potpourri, but I don't think I have any in my house. But in the potpourri that mom had on the table were these little wooden things, and they, they look kind of like tongues, and they were long, and they kind of they kind of curved and went down, and then they curved back up, right? Well, you know how you take Pringles and you put them in your mouth and make duck lips? Well, that's kind of what we did with this potpourri. There was two, well, there was a bunch, but we would take the top, bottom and the top and put them in our mouth and it was kind of like duck lips. We had the best time that night. So funny because Anne is just as silly as my mom, who's just as silly as me. So we all laughed and had the best time. Just funny memories of way back in the way backs. I can't remember how long ago that was. Anyway, we have fun. But yeah, oh Clay, how I long to lay with you, Clay. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I just wish I could find the letters. So funny. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to work. I just took my lunch, so. Here we are at the end of the day. I've made a hair appointment, so I'm going to get my hair cut tomorrow. Mostly because well, it's been about five months, I think, since I've had my hair cut. Probably time just to get it trimmed up. Anyway, uh, so I'm excited about that. A lot of people ask about Miss Gracie. Miss Gracie usually doesn't grace me with her presence. She usually doesn't come around when I'm making a video. Uh, to be honest, she lays outside all day on the patio and then just get up and leave Gracie. Yeah. That's fine. And then there's Charles. Charles is snoozing. Hello, Penelope. Are you having the worst day ever? Are you the goodest girl in the whole wide world? You want to go for a walk by yourself? Ooh, Charles is mad at us. But it's not, I mean, you know, he's going to have to be mad. Because when we came out to walk earlier, basically he walked across the street and they laid down at this mailbox and they just laid there. He wouldn't go any further. And this one here needs to walk, if you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you gotta walk it out. You know what I'm saying? Charles does not feel like letting her walk it out because Charles does not like walking far when it's hot outside, you know? I mean, he's, as far as I know, he's 13, could be 14. He's old and he doesn't like the heat and I don't blame him, but she's not old. I mean, she's six, so she wants to walk. And if the girl wants to walk, let her walk. So I told him, I said, you're gonna be mad, but we're going without you because a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So here we are doing it. We're doing our thing. It's a girl's night out. Yeah, yeah, and she's so excited to be out without her brother. Aren't you, Sam, so excited. Are you so very excited, Penny? Go do your thing, come on. They're over there working at Dixie's house. I mean, I'm pretty sure the house doesn't belong to the chicken. Oh, I'm just standing like this all the time. This is just the way I stand. She doesn't know which way to face to bark. Should I bark at Coco that's on the porch or should I bark at the people in that backyard? I don't know what to do. I know what she needs to do. She needs to walk. Hi, come on, you need to do your business. Come on, skinny butt. So I'm getting a lot of comments that people aren't seeing my videos and they're sending me messages that they miss me and wish I would start posting again every day. I post every day. I don't know that they'll see this, but I know one of them found me on YouTube because she couldn't find me on Facebook. I do post every day to both Facebook and YouTube, and I don't know how to help you see these, except to say, if you're following, make sure that you can go to my page by clicking on my name, 
and then click on the word following and you can make me a favorite and that way you'll get notifications and if you like and leave comments that also makes it show up in your page in your feed it helps the algorithm not only for me but for you so anyway um, if you want to follow me on YouTube because you have trouble with Facebook, it is free. Even though when you get there, you have to sign in, create a login and password, just like Facebook. And you have to click on the word subscribe. Subscribe on YouTube is not the same as subscribe on Facebook. Subscribe on Facebook is where you have to pay money to watch special videos. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to charge people to watch me. I'm gonna let the commercials pay me. Yeah, but on YouTube, subscribing is free. You just click on subscribe and then you click the bell and you change the notifications to get all the notifications. And right now there's no commercials over there because I have to have a thousand followers and I only have like 160. <laughs> so if y'all all want to go subscribe to my page to get me to a thousand, that would be great. But anyway, just if you're having trouble finding my videos, or you can just stay on Facebook, click on my name or search me, and then once you get to my page, click on videos and you can see all of my videos. They'll be in reverse order, the most recent at the top. There's a man. There's a man back there. I mean, he's in his yard, but it scared the bejesus out of me because I'm not used to seeing people out. And we're out supposed to be letting her do her business, and she's not doing anything but laying in the grass. So, anyway, that's going to be it for this video because I'm going to make her do her business. And I will talk to you all on the next Tracy Tries. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you, and I hope he's coming back soon because just because. Yeah. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Okay,